Who's making all the noise in here? Could it be Ricky Bobby? How you doing today, bud? Yeah, you look good. Feeling good? All right, Michelle, let's see if we can get old Ricky Bobby out of here. He looks like he feels good today. Mm -hmm. Hey, old buddy, you gonna come out of there? All right, let's get you out. <laughs> Nothing better than a good old orange tabby cat. And this is one of the best right here. Let's see how you healed up. Oh, that looks so good. That looks so much better. All right, if, if, uh, if you've seen the other video, Ricky Bobby is the little kitty cat that came in and he had been shot in the throat and he also had a great big pouch under his throat and we cut it out. I'll, I'll put a few clips of that particular video in with this one so you can see and remember what I'm talking about. And um, we sent it off to the lab, and I'll read you the histopath report in just a little bit. But anyway, I just wanted to show you this little squirmy guy, let you see his wound, how good he's healing, and uh, just get you reacquainted with him. There we go. Some idiot shot this poor little cat. Okay. And this is what we've got inside that lump. Some kind of green tea looking stuff. So anyway, be real interesting to see what this is when we get to it. We're gonna take all the fluid out of it to decompress it, then we'll go cut it out. I've been sized over the skin, the subcutaneous tissue, and the musculature. There's the muscle. And here's our sac, a little hollow sac. I have no clue what's going on in it. I, I worry about thyroid tissue and all, but usually thyroid tissue is fairly solid. And this is just one big pouch here. So I'm gonna dissect this pouch and get it out of here. And we'll see if we can find out what it's hooked to down underneath. Okay, we've got the sac out and we've got, got it drained. And we've got, got it opened up here. And there's all kinds of nasty stuff growing in here. I don't know if that's going to be a cancerous material or what, but we're going to have to get all this sack out. And there are just huge vessels all around this. So I've got to be really, really careful. This is going to take a long time. To... Here's our wound. Sorry, folks, it's pretty darn grisly. That tumor or pouch, whatever it was, arose from down in here, just inside his jugular vein. That's his trachea right there. There's the musculature that overlies it. And uh, there's a big nerve through there, carotid arteries, jugular vein and all. And my goodness, we were so lucky. We didn't hit any of those vital structures in there. So everything looks good so far. Here's the mass over here. It came out completely intact. So we got the whole thing out. So um, hopefully, as long as that's not a malignant tumor, uh, we should be good and uh, probably save this little guy's life because that was going to pretty soon encroach upon his ability to breathe as well as this vasculature and the big nerves that run through here as well. So anyway, so far so good. We're going to close him up and wake him up. Okay, wiggle worm. Michelle, hold him up there so we can see his, his little neck. And he was so good when we were taking these sutures out of there. That's good. So anyway, that's that's where the, the big wound was made right there to get that the, the big lump out of his throat. And then this small one up here is where the pellet was in him. So anyway, he healed up very, very well. And, uh, and that should, as soon as these little scabs fall off, that'll hair over and look really nice. Anyway, Ricky Bobby, you are a good kitty. Very good kitty cat. Right, Michelle? Right. All right. All right. And uh, here's, here's Ricky Bobby's pathology report. They evaluated the sections, and uh, two different doctors concur with this overall interpretation. They consider this a thyroid adenocarcinoma, and any time you see the word adeno like that that means gland 
Anytime you see C-A-R-C, that means malignant tumor and OMA just means tumor. So he's got a thyroid adenocarcinoma. And it says it's got a guarded prognosis. And that just means that um, it, you can never feel comfortable about that. The likelihood of this completely going away is not great, but it's, it's better than, than grave. When they send us one that says a grave prognosis, that is, that's just like we're not gonna survive this one. But um, it said this lesion is ordinarily only locally invasive, meaning in most cases it stays right where it is, but it's hard to get the whole thing out and it'll continue to grow. And it says it has a great tendency to evade, invade the connective tissue planes caudally. That means backwards. That means from his throat toward his chest. Uh, and uh, it says eventually into the thoracic inlet and into the thoracic cavity, meaning that that mass that we took out of his throat, if we left any cells there, they can start migrating backwards, go through the chest, uh, through the throat and into the chest. It says occasionally this neoplasm will spread by lymphogenous or hematogenous roots. And that just means that it can get into his lymphatics and it can also get into his bloodstream. So the, the likelihood of this thing getting bad, uh, it's got many ways to do it, but in most cases they don't. And um, the, uh, one of the pathologists that, that took care of uh, the sample that I sent in, he checked the entire tumor. And he said orientation is difficult, meaning he couldn't tell from looking at it which was toward the inside, which was toward the outside. It says, however, excision appears complete by approximately a tenth of a centimeter and you think well that sounds pretty good it sounds like we got the whole thing out but then again the border is only a tenth of a centimeter thick and if you think of a tenth of a centimeter that's a millimeter so that's not very big but nevertheless when the pathologists say you've got it all out of there and they do uh, that really really helps to make this a good prognosis but anyway I knew all y'all were interested I had a lot of people comment uh, that, that really, um, uh, Ricky Bobby really touched their heartstrings. And for those of you, that this is for you. And again, I really thank the owners for allowing us to bring this case onto YouTube so everyone can see what's going on, see real life. And, and uh, uh, you know, hopefully it'll, it will help. It will help us make decisions on our own animals on down the road. So anyway, what to do here? We could send him into an oncologist and spend a whole lot of money, but you never really know how that's going to work because these tumors are quite variable. So basically what we're going to do with Ricky Bobby right now, the fact that the pathologist said we got all the tumor out and we know these are slow growing and we know that they also usually start to grow right here. We're just going to kind of watch him for a while and we'll recheck, do a lot of rechecks on him and make sure that we're not seeing small bumps because we see a little small lump, we know what it is. And if it's small, we can go right back and get it out while it's still very small. But um, I, I'm sorry for all the accompaniment I've had today. We just have some cats that like to talk more than others and Ricky Bobby is appropriately named. He likes to talk. But anyway, thanks for tuning in again today, folks. I sure appreciate all of your, your kind words that you said about Ricky Bobby. And, and we'll be keeping up with him. I'll be checking him from time to time, and I'll post some videos on him. Anyway, thanks a lot. Thanks for tuning in to Out on the Ranch. We'll see you next time. I'm Ricky Bobby.